Boat owners in Anderson County are working right now trying to pick up the pieces after that massive fire at the marina yesterday. 11 boats caught fire by the time the fire department got there. Many of them are deep below the water tonight. Our Brianna Smith is live at the Portman Marina for us this evening with the very latest developments. Brianna. Hey, Amy, yeah, it's really interesting. We've got dive teams out here right now actually evaluating where those boats are and trying to get them back up above water level. Now, by the time firefighters actually got here, they could see that thick cloud of smoke. And Anderson County firefighters say thanks to mutual aid from Oconee County and their special equipment, it actually stopped this from being catastrophic. Now, more than 200 firefighters here from Anderson County worked to tirelessly get this out yesterday, getting water on the burning boats in less than five minutes from that 911 call. The only problem is that they were landlocked to shore. They had to wait 35 minutes for Oconee County's fire boat to arrive here. Anderson County Council is currently discussing whether to award $90,000 for a fire boat to Anderson County firefighters to cover the 700 miles of Lake Hartwell shoreline. We need to take a closer look at other things at the marina, like adequate water supply and other things like that. I think it's. I think there'll be an after action report that will point out a number of things. The discussion also includes whether Anderson County needs a fire boat that would be around $90,000 that really is a fire rescue that did exactly what Oconee County did yesterday or a more extensive fire boat that would be around $300 to $400,000 to serve this growing population area here on Lake Hartwell. Now coming up at 6, we're going to introduce you to a boat owner who has a really personal connection to the boat he's lost that won't be able to be restored. We're live in Anderson County tonight. Brianna Smith, 7 News. Well, let me ask you about what's right behind you, Brianna, that roped off area behind you. What is that for? And, and is there any environmental concern? You know, you had a lot of fuel burning there, probably fuel in the boats. Did any of it get in the water? Yeah, we weren't able to talk to DHEC today about what they're doing to make sure that that oil, I know that one of the boat owners we talked to said he just filled up his tank the day before this, so that's why some of the big flames was because of that oil. But you can actually see where that uh, boom was put in place mm -hmm. over here. They're trying to keep it all contained and get those divers under the water and make sure that they can get those boats back up above. They're going to have to raise all 11 of them out of the water wow. for those environmental concerns. All right, Brianna Smith, live tonight with the very latest. Thank you.